It is Small Business Week, and every year, of course, we bring in small businesses, talk about the challenges that they're facing. This, obviously, is a year of enormous challenge, the kind of things not many of us who are alive have seen. Definitely a tough one. A lot of pivoting going out there. Of course, this is the entrepreneurial spirit. A one organization went from making spirits to making hand sanitizers. Let's check in with Jeff Dillon. He's the founder of Dillon's Small Batch Distillers. And Jeff, let's start there. You took a look at what was happening in the world, what the needs were. You went from being a distillery to making the hand sanitizer. How is that? And are you still on that path? Yeah, well, thank you for having me back on. Um, yeah, we still we still have hand sanitizer. We're still selling some and uh, still donating some. But the demand that, uh, that that huge demand was definitely April, March. Uh, everything has slowed down a bit on the sanitizer side. Okay, so the demand isn't as great there. I noticed when I go shopping, they didn't used to have any, and now the shelves are quite full. So, what did it mean for your business in terms of outlay of cost, of of time, of you know, like mental capital during a very trying time to switch over and then still to try to have a distillery business? Yeah, you know, honestly, my 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 job in March and April was trying to make sure everyone was there mentally because it was it was the craziest six weeks of my life by far. Uh, the demand was so great and the need was so big. It started with just local EMS and, uh, and firefighters and police asking if we had anything. And, you know, it went from there. We, we would say, if you need it, we'll make it. Started making it and then this entire movement started. Okay, so definitely interesting, and it does show the entrepreneurial spirit of being able to shift and maneuver with the times. Uh, you say the sales of products are up this year. What is the product mix looking like so far between what you did and jumped in with the hand sanitizer game, but also your traditional spirits business? Yeah, we have one in interesting product um, that was small before this is now one of our, our, our biggest ones. It's these little small, um, like, pre-mixed cocktails. We do a Negroni and a Manhattan in these little four-ounce bottles, and I... You know, I thought it was going to be revolutionary when we, when we released it a year and a half ago. It was kind of a slow build, and then when the pandemic hit, that was the one spirit that restaurants could sell with their takeout, that we could get, we could move, that people could just sit around. It's already done. It uh, it became our number one seller in the, during the pandemic. Well, that's key, too, because I was going to ask you about restaurants. Obviously, we know that restaurants are big buyers of, of spirits, of beer, of wine, and this is a very tough time for restaurants. But you seem to have found a way to say, well, here's a product that, that can suit your new reality. Yeah, it has been really tough. I mean, we have so many friends that own restaurants that are just, it's, it's so tough for them right now. And not only are they great partners, but they're kind of our marketing. Like, they're the ones that tell our story for the last nine years. We've relied on them to get our, our name out there. So it's at least been nice to be able to have something like that that has worked through this. Um, let's hopefully help a little bit. Now, Jeff, those are the people that you supply. What about your suppliers, the things that you need to make your product, to package your product? Have you had challenges there because of the pandemic? Yeah, there's certainly um, a glass shortage happening right now. Um, sounds like it's worldwide. Um, alcohol sales, bottle sales are just up. And factories haven't ramped up yet, so it's getting trickier and trickier to get the, the glass that we need. Um, even for the hand sanitizer, we had to make our own bottle mold for our plastic uh, spray bottle, just so we knew we could have it uh, in stock. Okay, so that's definitely a challenge. I understand, though, that you haven't really availed yourself of the government support programs. Is that because they weren't uh, the right fit for you, or did you not need them? Yeah, I guess it's a little, little bit of both. We didn't really, we, we were doing well, so we didn't fit into most of them. And then the, the big one that we were working on was, it was more for retooling your equipment. I never thought that the, the, the equipment was the issue. The, you know, back in March and April, it was sanitizer, the liquid was the issue. And we can make that, we can, we can put it into bottles. We can find any bottle, any bottle we could find, we built with sanitizer back then. So the retooling thing, it would have taken months and, and it just wasn't the right program for us. Okay, so it wasn't the right program. What would you like to see from the government? Is there anything that they could do? As I mean, we know it's going to be a challenging winter. I don't think we have any illusions about that. Do you, do you foresee the government stepping in and being able to help a business like yours a little more effectively? I mean, we've certainly been in talks for a number of years. Spirits pay a lot higher tax than, than wine, beer, cider in Ontario. We've just, we're such a new industry, this craft distilling movement. Um, you know, we're only we're eight years old and we're one of the oldest in Ontario. So we haven't had the opportunity to really work on our provincial taxes 
I love to see that. I'd love to see uh, to be able to sit down the table again and, and see if we can make something work there to put us on more of a level playing field. Okay, so that would be interesting in terms of that kind of uh, tax policy from government. As we look longer term, as I said, we, we know that winter is going to be challenging, but we are hopeful that when the spring comes that we have made enough, you know, progress on vaccines, on treatments, that we can start to get things looking a little bit like they used to. What are your longer term plans for the business on, and do you have share those hopes that things by the spring will be looking better? Yeah, of course. But I mean, we're a distillery. We're going to keep making fun, cool spirits, keep having fun. It felt really good to um, to step up when when it was needed, and felt like we were doing something positive. You know, instead of just making alcohol, we were we were making it for a real reason. That felt great when uh, when it was really needed. But you know, we're we're a distillery. We're going to keep making cool spirits. Okay, interesting stuff and an interesting story, Jeff. Uh, thanks for taking the time to check back in with us. Thank you very much. Jeff Dillon is the founder of Dillon's Small Batch.